Boys, I don't know how it happened, but spring is already here, man. Warm weather is kicking in. I'm a little bit excited for some warm weather, so we're definitely heading out to the jetties. The tackle box that was empty, we're gonna fill her up. Look at this, egg sinkers, baby. I, I got a bunch of egg sinkers, and I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm a little bit excited about it. And on top of that, we got a bunch of kale hooks to put in the tackle box as well. Having a filled up tackle box means you're definitely, definitely gonna catch fish. We're getting some shrimps too, so there's no way we don't catch them, right? Hopefully the tackle shops do have some live shrimps or else we're kind of gonna be in trouble. But if they do, we're going for every kind of fish we can. And if we catch some keepers, we're gonna be keeping them. Two fish, I'm mainly going for sheepers and also flat boys. Let's get out there and see what happens. I'm trying to tie a knot, big girl. All right, check it out, fellas. We're, we're a cart guy today. We're definitely gonna be a jetty cart fisherman today. And we got the shrimps ready to go. And also, we're fishing with an island boy. <laughs> I'm a cart fisherman boy all day. Early boys, we're the first ones out here on the jetties. First up, we're gonna start off with some live shrimp looking for some flat boys. Look, it's freaking beautiful out here. Wow, okay. Just saw some, uh, some little minnows jump up. That's exactly what I wanna see in this area to catch some fish. Might be good. Water's pretty churned up too, but, which is not good, but it's still possible to catch fish, especially if there's this bait here, especially if you got some live shrimps. I'm the freaking, they're here, boy. They're freaking here, man. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's what we're here for, baby. That's nearly a halibut right there. Holy. That is hilarious. That's a cute little guy. That's a fish for sure. Yeah. My gosh, dude. That's the smallest flounder I've ever seen or caught. Bang. Wow. See a big fella. What a fish. What a fish. Dang, I should have kept that. There's a the guy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's one. That's a better one. Oh, it's a sheeper. Damn. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Wait, is he snag? No, no, we got him. 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 Get her in. Get in there, bud. Dang. All right. I'm actually not upset about it. I sounded upset, but I thought it was going to be a little guy. That's a keepster. It's right where you want it, right next to your camera, right? Let's see how big this man is. Build stretch. Yeah, that's an 18, 18 incher. For surely, that's a keeper right there, boys. This guy right here is gonna be one of our very first keepers of the whole last year after the freeze. Uh, I'm gonna try here like five or six more minutes and then I'm gonna move down. Right, we moved down a little bit. Now we're looking for the sheepers. What I got rigged up, first off, we gotta catch a damn shrimp. Here's where we got rigged up. The beautiful slip bobber rig, ready to go. We're gonna drop this in the channel side. Looks like on the other side of the jetties, people are catching them on the channel side, so. I'm gonna try that first, but they're liable to be in the surf too. There's just so many opportunities, you know what I mean? got this slip bobber about four and a half feet deep right now which is not that deep but if we don't get bites we'll put it deeper and deeper until we probably get snagged up by a rock or we catch a fish 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 or hung we might have had a fish right there fellas man why don't you guys pay I told you guys to watch the bobber man give you guys one job you can't do it you made me miss that fish I'm gonna stop paying you guys if you're not careful
Let's go. We're gonna get them right here. We're gonna get them right here. We're fishing a little bit. Right here, there's a little ledge, which you can get snagged on. We're trying to fish right on the outside of it, which is pretty hard to see where it is right now with this chalked up water. But I think that's where our best chance is. And that's right where we got that bite. Look, we just got another bite. Let's go. I got him. The very next cast, dude. Let's go. No. I hope he's not. No, I think he's snagged, dude. No, he's not. Oh, that's a big one. Dude, uh, you can get him with that. Dude, I would put a longer thing on there. Dang, that's a big one. That's a big one, dude. Two right, in a, two right in a row, dude. They're here, they're here. Bang. All right, we got two guys on the stringer. That's all I want. You know, a lot of people will come. <laughs> right now, it's pretty easy to catch sheep's head. A lot of people will come and just catch their limit every day. And for me, it's not necessary. I'll just take a couple just for a meal, and I'm good to go. I might keep one more, I don't know. I might get crazy and keep one more. Oh my gosh, what? Dude, that was on the smallest piece of bait. The little guy, little guy. Yeah. Oh. Dang, he's a fat boy, he's a fat boy. <laughs> yeah, these are some like chunky fish. Yes, sir. Woo wee! Look, the circle hook. I didn't believe in the circle hook, but it did work for this guy. Thing is, we just we just let it sit there by itself, which is probably why it did work. Didn't have didn't have a noob like me trying to set a circle hook. There he is. There he is. Yep, yeah, there he is. Let's go. Another guy. We're not gonna lose this one. I'm gonna be an expert and not let him get away. Oh. Come up, come up, come up, come up. We got him. You're safe now, bud. Bang, that's a guy. I'm holding it like an absolute noob holds a fish for their first time. Just hold it by, the, hold, it, hold it by the leader a foot away. So previous years, whenever I'm fishing for, for uh, sheepers, I never know really which hook I liked best, but it does seem like the kale hook is doing work on them. The only time they'll miss it is, is if they're not even just, not even getting the hook in their mouths. Of course with sheepers, they're pretty good bait sealers, so it does happen no matter what you do. There you go, oh, what is that? That's a guy. You got him? Yeah. Let's go, bud. Uncursed, uncursed. That's a world record right there. That's a world record right there. So I got the slip bobber cork, which you can get down pretty deep, but Drew's just using a normal popping cork with a long leader, and it's working as well. Oh, there he is. Bang, what did he run? No way. I got a little one as well. <laughs> Bring one in, let one go. Oh, that's bigger than mine though. Yeah. Mine was like right at 15. This is probably 16. It's a small keeper. Little guy, little guy, I'll take him though. That's, that's crazy too. Drew hooks up, catches one, and there's another one right after. And I caught another one right before that. Man, they're in here pretty thick. There he is. Oh, did we get him? Or did we get rocked up? We got rocked up because I set it deeper. That's how it goes. Maybe there's a fish on there here pull us out. Oh wait, there's something on there, dude. What? Yeah, there's a fish. He pulled us out, dude, let's go. We're in the rocks. Mr. Sheeper pulled us out of there. My man, I appreciate you. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a freaking black sheep's head. I'm telling you, they change colors. Nah, I'm keeping, I'm gonna keep them. No! Dude, literally, I think everybody on this jetty has caught one. Yeah. There he is. No, dude. Dude, what is going on? I don't know. I think they're smaller. That's my what the freaking hell? Look, he chomped it, dude. <laughs> she said bite power right there. Oh my god, I got a bite. Oh, you're you're under. You were. <laughs> Look at that, fellas. I, I didn't even set the hook on him. I think he just bit this. My bad. There he is. Oh man, eat it. There he is. There he is. On the dead shrimp, dude, on the bottom. Let's go. It's even better. And there's a lot, man. I think it's even better to fish on the bottom. And it does seem like there's a lot of guys here. <laughs> Bang! Let's go. So now we keyed in that they're on the edge right there. So what I'm doing is I'm passing right, right past the edge with this bottom rig and it's hanging off the side of that rock. And they're just coming right next to the rock because that's what they do. They're looking for barnacles on the rock, little crabs, little shrimp. And they're just picking it up off the rock. There you go, there you go, there you go. Get him, bud. You're good. Get them on there. Let's go. Dude, everyone's freaking catching fish. It's crazy out here. I thought it wasn't going to be that crazy, but it is kind of crazy. We got the sheepers back there. We're getting out of here. We actually used up all our shrimp. I thought we had a good amount of shrimp, but we used them all up. But we did get the sheepers we were looking for. All we got to do now is go cook them up. All right, time to cut them up. We're cutting them up. Here's how we're going to flay this sheep's head. We're going to make one cut right here, and then we're going to slide the knife in, ride those bones down the back, and then open up the flay, and then cut that flay out. One thing these sheep's head do have is the big old rib cage. It starts about here, it goes all the way down back here. So you kind of, you can go around it, but I just like to avoid it, and then just cut the flay here. You lose maybe just a touch of meat but it is way easier and you don't have to deal with the bones and then once you get past the belly you can just slide your knife all the way through there you go a good good chunk of meat even not for a giant sheep's head all right fellas we got them filleted up and now we're gonna cook them up we're going in for some fish tacos with jalapeno and lime let's get in there and start chopping them up we got onion, Roma tomatoes, garlic, jalapenos, and some limes as well. We're gonna chop these guys up and then put them on the pan, start cooking them down before we add the fish to the same pan as well. Okay, jalapenos can range a lot in their spiciness. I just had a bite of one and they're pretty spicy, which that's fine with me. All right, now we got our fillets right here, ready to go. Nice, nice sheep's head fillets. Man, this time filleting these sheep's head, it was actually super easy. It was as easy as flaying any other fish and I'm not even good at flaying fish. We're gonna season up our fillets right now. We got some cumin. I'm gonna go pretty light on the cumin. I do like the flavor, but it is, uh, it is pretty strong flavor. Also gonna add some salt and pepper and you know we had to do it. We're adding my man Cayenne in the mix as well. As I always like to say, I like a little bit of pepper with my pepper. There it is, there it is. Now we're gonna start uh, cooking up the vegetables before we add the fish. The first thing we're gonna do is actually add lime juice. We'll use three or four limes depending on how juicy they are and then we'll add the vegetables and then finally the fish. Let's see how juiced up they are. Oh, they're pretty juicy. They're pretty juicy. I like to see it. Lime juice is in. Now it's time for the vegetables to have some fun. So we're just gonna start softening up these vegetables just a little bit, and then we'll add the fish fillets straight to the same pan. Might as well add a little bit 
of S and P as well. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. You know we gotta do it. Add a little cayenne to the vegetables as well. Man, lime just has an amazing smell to it. That's why it's better than the lemons. I, I just don't understand lemon people. You got a perfectly amazing supple lime, and you're gonna use a lemon. I mean, they got issues. Those people got issues. That's all I'm saying. All right, just about two minutes, I would say. Now we add the fish fillet. Bop. And right now is a good time to get the corn tortillas roasted up on a different pan. While we got everything else on the heat, let's uh, let's get our uh, cilantro chopped up. Again, just like the lemon people, some people don't like cilantro. I don't know what's wrong with them. Bang, the tacos are cooked up, assembled, and ready to go. All we gotta do, add that cilantro right on top. Well, they're looking pretty damn good, but let's see how they taste. Oh. Incredible, dude. Very, very good. Eat it. Eat it. You're going to eat it whether you want to or not. Eat it. Eat the taco. Well, it's been a little while since we did the catch and cook, but it was a good one. I, the only reason we haven't been doing them is because of the freeze we had last year. I wanted to give it at least a full year before we started doing catch and cooks, but we're past February, we're past March. So at least we're definitely not getting any more freezes, at least in the first half of this year. I'm telling you, sheepers are pretty underrated. They taste extremely good. I love you guys very much. Uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Stuck in America, in America, in America, whoa. Stuck in